Arizona Sports. Breaking news. I have no idea what this is about. Not so much uh uh-oh, but the Phoenix Suns did release their official statement on Sarver's plans to sell the team, and I figured this was the best time to bring it up. Absolutely. What do you got? From the Suns, quote, We agree that Robert Sarver's decision to sell the Suns and Mercury is in the best interest of the organization and community. We also know that today's news does not change the work that remains in front of us to create, maintain, and protect a best-in-class experience for our staff, players, fans, partners, and community. As we've shared with our employees, we acknowledge the courage of the people who came forward in this process to tell their stories and apologize to those who hurt. We are on a journey that began before last November, one that has included changes to leadership, staff, and accountability measures. While we are proud of our progress and the culture of respect and integrity we are building, we know there remains work to do and relationships to rebuild. We are committed to doing so for our staff, players, fans, partners, and this community. Who wrote that? Does it say? This is the is official this... statement from Suns Legacy Partners, LLC, okay. the sports and entertainment entity that manages and I operates just, the Suns I just, When they say we, I'm just curious who we is. Is it John so Najafi? Yeah. Is it, it's, is it's, it it's, it's all the minority owners, I would imagine. Is it Jason Rowley, is it, the it, president? It, that's kind of what I was wondering, too. Is is Rowley's name on that? Is is I would assume the Legacy Partners are basically all the other minority owners yeah. i would imagine it's basically everyone else that's not robert well, that's, and what, what that is is like okay um like this has been a trying time and but we you know we've got an organization to run we've got a team that's going to try to win a championship we're going to support the fans and the players and the coaches and we're going to move forward decision we agree with it but now you know we're going to move forward and we're a partner with the community i'm going to continue to be a partner with the community so i think that was just kind of reiterating you know what their plan is i agree um and and it's it, it just goes to show that there was this momentum building to remove robert sarver to have robert sarver step down we had talked about this yesterday and and the fact that it had been quiet over the weekend that it had been quiet on monday and tuesday it felt like some of that momentum was starting to dissipate yes a little yes. bit and it felt like it was starting to slow down i suspect there were things going on behind the scenes that have not become public i don't know that for a fact but i suspect there were probably conversations going on behind the scenes that maybe w- more pressure was being applied to robert sarver throughout this whole process but yeah to answer to your question before we had the the sun sounder I, I think all that's left now is to figure out two things number one does robert sarver have the right to sell the whole team or just his share of the team and i know we 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 can't know that without having the contract in front of us you did a lot of reporting on that earlier in the day and it's been reported by others baxter holmes over at espn in particular that robert does indeed have the right to sell the entire team and not just his portion of the team so that's thing number one we got to figure out How, who right you know who's who how much of the team can he sell is it all of it or just to share the number two who buys it who buys it? Who's going to be the next owner of the Phoenix Suns? There'll be plenty, gonna... of, there'll be plenty of uh, plenty of people that want that want it. Seems plenty. like it. I mean, I heard from one local group that's interested, a local group that has interest in buying it. Um, and then the Disney, the guy from Disney, Bob his Iger. name come up. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's the the chance to own a, a professional sports franchise is. You know, pe- rich people will jump at that opportunity and put a group together to purchase. Yep, and then consider the Woj, the Adrian Wojnarowski tweet from earlier today in which he writes, quote, the Suns are considered an extremely desirable franchise in the marketplace and will have no shortage of high-level ownership sure. candidates. As a warm-weather destination in the West, the league executives always believed this could be a monster free agent destination with the right ownership, close quote. There's not going to be any shortage of people who are willing to buy it. No, they bought it for $400 million dollars about 20 years ago and they're going to sell it now for over two billion yeah yeah they're going to pretty good investment and, and you know what and some people that's going to rub some people the wrong way that robert sarver you know he's gonna make a ton of money off of this and there's nothing to do to avoid that you know it's his investment it's his money it's his right but but robert sarver's punishment for lack of a better way of putting it is going to be turning a very healthy rich profit when turning this but that team. was always going to happen and he's entitled to that because he's the one who bought the organization so he is entitled to no, that I, the punishment to me more than anything is just this the humiliation and embarrassment that you've got to go through for the rest of your life i mean you know one of the things robert's you know robert said and i did the, the, to me it's extremely interesting is you know um the part about you know the uh, i'm trying to look at the, i got it right you're talking community. about the victim part no, no, not the victim part. The the part where what he's going to do going forward. 
Uh, I want what's best for these two organizations, the players, the employees, the fans, the community, my fellow owners, the WNBA and NBA. This is the best course of action for everyone. In the meantime, I will continue to work on becoming a better person and continuing to support the community in meaningful ways. Right. I mean, and that, like, not for nothing, that's not going to be easy to do. No. I'm going to continue to support the community in meaningful ways. You know, like, are you going to be accepted? When you want to support the community in meaningful ways, besides just writing a check. You know, like, I think that's the pun- the punishment. Look, he deserves to make whatever money he makes. He bought the team. He's not, he didn't do anything criminal. He's not going to jail. So, like, he deserves to, and all of the owners that are involved deserve to make their profits on, and, and that's what, listen, on, rich people get to do that. They get to spend $400 million on something and watch it triple over 20 years. Yeah, I, and, and I'm not suggesting for a second that he doesn't have that right or that right should be stripped from him. I'm not suggesting that at all. It's just one of those, you know, it's really it, the financials of this, that part of it, it's not all that bad for Robert Sarver. He'll be no, fine. No, but he's what's make the word I'm looking for? Pariah? Would, would pariah, pariah work? Pariah is a good word. Okay. And you know, it, like, and, but you he's going to have a hard time like it, saying what he's saying there. Like, that's not so easy. And to be honest with you, the, hey. the part he said earlier in this statement isn't helping. All right? Because when this statement was released today, the things that everybody focused on immediately were these two paragraphs. Quote, as a man of faith, I believe in atonement and the path of forgiveness. I expected that the commissioner's one-year suspension would provide the time for me to focus, make amends, and remove my personal controversy from the teams that I and so many fans love. But in our current unforgiving climate, it has become painfully clear that is no longer possible, that whatever good I have done or could still do is outweighed by things I have said in the past. Okay, that's right. For yeah. those reasons, I am beginning the process of seeking buyers for the Suns. He the had done a lot of good. To say he did no good is just that that's just wrong. Yeah, I know, but, but but it does out. But what he said is outweighing that. That's true. This makes it sound like he's the victim. It makes it sound yeah. like you know sure. I was sure. on my way to redemption and and I wanted to prove I could be a different person but and a different guy. Cancel culture got but, me. And, and and it's just such nonsense. I, it's such nonsense. And and, and here's why. And a lot of people reacted to that too. Oh, right? You sent me an email list full of the, everybody. I see everybody right. when the statement came out. I was like, come on, dude. Seriously, you're not the victim in all of this. Stop. And the reason. He He's not the victim. And the reason why he can't paint himself as the victim in this is because it's not like this is one thing that happened one year, one time. No, multiple. Multiple. Over multiple dozens, years. Dozens, yeah. And not just in the past. The most recent incident that was documented happened a year ago. I mean, we're not talking about some guy who mismanaged things for a day or a month or a year, and it happened 10 years ago, and he since saw the errors of his way. Based off the report, we're talking about things that happened a year ago and things that had happened for 10 years. That's not cancel culture. That's not, that's not oh, our unforgiving society. I mean, it's... Yeah, he crossed the line. You, he crossed you, the line you into, crossing it, into and you, harassment. And you kept crossing it again yeah. and again and uh-huh. again and again. When people were telling you not to cross it, you kept crossing sure. it. That's not cancel yeah, But that's culture. what I'm saying. That's, like not, that. that's not, I'm the victim here. Oh, our society, our culture. Come on. I'll and, look for ways to support the community. My, my, honestly, like, if I was here, go buy an island. Go buy an island. Somewhere in the Bahamas. Go live out the rest of your life. Enjoy it. Support your kids and everything that they're going to do. He's got three sons. You know, d- like, do that. Like, but it's like, I just think it's going to be hard to support the community. Like, do we? Do I think we're going to see Robert in a sp- as a speaking, ga- a special guest somewhere, or a speaking engagement? Or I think just think that right now, I think that that would be really hard to do. Yeah, I think it would be almost impossible to do at this point. And I think the tone of this statement that he released today made it that much more impossible because people almost immediately. It's like, oh, look, at the end of the day. All that matters is that he's selling. All that matters is that the pressure built up to the point where he decided to walk. And that's the most important part of today. But the words he had on his way out the door, oh, stop it. Stop it. Stop with the victimization of, oh, woe is me, and I didn't get a chance to redeem myself. You had 15 years. You know, you had you had a lifetime in this yeah, industry to redeem yourself. Yeah, but a lot of times yourself. people don't tr- don't really redeem themselves until they get caught. Yeah, well, that's the that's just problem. the truth.